Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we have a really exciting video featuring the Wet n Wild, what the hell is this called? The 40 palette. So this is like a limited edition. You can only get it online right now. It's $19.99 online right now, but if you have to pay like $5 shipping, so it ends up being like 25. But I mean, for a 40 shade palette, that's, that's really not bad still. So when this first came out, everybody was like losing their shit because it looks like the James Charles Morphe palette, which I also have. And I mean, they're right. It is a very similar color scheme, as you can see. Obviously like the sizes aren't completely like 100%, but it's, it's a very similar palette. There's a few differences in like finishes here and there, but yes, it's very similar. I don't love this palette. There's a lot of inconsistencies. Some of the shades, like the warmer ones are very nice. The cooler ones are kind of shitty, like the purples and stuff, kind of shitty, but that's just Morphe's MO. Some of their palettes are nice. Some of them are fucking horrible. But Mild, on the other hand, when they rebranded and came back out with their 10 pan palettes, these mattes are out of this world. I can do without their metallics, to be honest. Like, I'm just not blown away with the formula. But these mattes are some of the best drugstore formulas I've ever tried. Drugstore and even some high end. Some high end even I haven't been impressed with. But these mattes are fantastic. I mean, I haven't touched anything in this palette yet. I'm praying, praying they didn't fuck around with the formula for the mattes because these mattes are great. I'm hoping these are the same mattes in this 40 palette. I'm not gonna swatch them first. I'm gonna swatch a bunch afterwards, but we're gonna do what we always do in try on first impression videos. I'm gonna do one look on this eye, one look on this eye, so we can use as many colors as possible. We're just gonna see how these work, how pigmented they are, how saturated, how well the metallics translate. Like I said, I'm not over the moon with the metallics I've found in their regular eyeshadow palettes. They're not the worst I've seen, but they're nothing special. Maybe there'll be something special from this palette. I guess we're gonna find out. So let me go off camera prime. I'll be right back and we'll get started. All right, so I think we're gonna go in with the lightest teal shade first. Here, I'm gonna use my Morphe M514 brush. This is a matte, seems to be picking up okay. Color payoff looks all right. I never know what you guys are seeing on your end. Like in person, I always feel like I'm seeing something different than you guys are. Obviously, I want this to be good because I mean, it's a drugstore brand. Obviously, it's a, like I said, it's a limited edition. You can only get it online, but still like you want a drugstore brand to be good. And I mean, I'm a Wet n Wild fan. I want this to be good. All right, next let's go in with, go in with the teal that's right next to it, like the greenish teal shade right here. Same brush. We're just gonna kind of pack that underneath, kind of in the crease. It's not an insanely deep shade. So I know the color is, difference isn't gonna be like I said, incredibly different, but I am seeing some deposit right here. So that's a good sign. All right, now let's go in with a really deep shade. And this blue shade almost seems like it might be a satin. I'm not sure though, I can't really tell. It's either a matte or a satin. I can't tell just by looking at it. Could be either, but I'm gonna go in with that. I'm gonna use my SL Miss Glam brush right here. Right. This doesn't look as dark as it looks in the pan, but it does look darker than what we just put down. It's even layering good. This is the problem that comes literally almost every single time I use a palette. High-end, mid-range, drugstore. Every time I do this and start to go in my crease when I layer a dark shade with like a mid or light shade, anytime I start going in my crease, there start, it starts to get patchy, like something happens where you can't layer them. This is layering totally fine. Like, totally fine. I'm yelling because I'm like thrilled about this. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like right here in the crease, this is where I always end up having a problem. And this $20 palette is not giving me a problem. Honestly, I was expecting a problem, but there's no problem. That layered beautifully, fucking beautifully. 
I know those were, that was only three shades, but that's okay. Obviously I only have two eyes and there's 40 shades in here. So I'm, there's no way I'm gonna even use a quarter of them on my eyes today. But we're gonna jump to this side, use like a handful more mattes. Then we're gonna mess around with a bunch of the metallics. Like I said, as many as I can use on my eyes right now. So we put down some more concealer over here and we will try a bunch more shades on this side, BRB. All right. On to this eye. Honestly, like the reddish coral shades are kind of just calling to me. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so I think first we're gonna go in with the bright yellow matte shade. I don't need to show you because there's literally only one. You can imagine what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna go back in with that first Morphe brush. I'm not always the biggest fan of Morphe products like shadows and stuff, but I love their brushes. The yellows, I mean, it's it's obviously packing some color. I just expected it to be like more of a, I guess like a brighter yellow, like a, not neon, but yeah, kind of neon. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's definitely coming off yellow, but not at all the shade that it looks in the pan. I'm not mad because it's definitely giving me pigment. It's just looks very different than the pan, weird. But, um, okay, next we're gonna go into this amazing, like I can't stop looking at it, this coral shade right here. Coral matte shade, I'm gonna go with that next. I think I'm gonna use my Smith 247 brush. Also some good pigment. Next, I mean, we're absolutely just gonna have to go in with this matte red, this right here. I think we're just gonna go in with Smith 230. I've literally just been like destroying these poor Smith brushes lately. That's not really good. All right, I think I'm actually just gonna go, I wish there was like one more really deep like aubergine shade, but there's not. So I think I'm just gonna go in with this really deep coffee shade right here, kind of all over the lid. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna go back in with my SL Miss Glam brush again. And let's see if this does the same thing as the other side. It is, it's doing the same thing. Oh God, my prayers have been answered. It's finally happened. I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about when I'm saying this, but sometimes when I light, like when I put a dark color on top of a light eyeshadow, there will be patchiness. Like it's almost like it won't adhere to my skin or the powder I just put down. This, this dark shadow completely laid down on top of the red shadow that was down before it. Like it's even blending on top of it. Totally fine. Literally so far, I have not one bad thing to say. Give me a second, let me put down my cut crease and I'll be right back. We have eye number one. I think we're gonna do maybe this shade kind of on the outer edge right here. Oh, you can't even see. It's kind of a subdued, I don't know what I would call it. A deep kind of rose gold, if you will. Feels okay. It feels kind of silky. The payoff's all right. Not blowing my mind, but it's not off the bat disappointing me. This one, I'm kind of losing my shit over and I have to use it. This reddish orange, I don't know what the fuck it is, but I know it's rocking my world. Okay, let's see. Oh, doesn't seem to be working that nicely. Oh man. It's giving off more of like the gold than the duochrome kind of orange that it looks in the pan, unfortunately. Ugh, that one was disappointing. Mm. All right, let's go in with this like really bright gold right here. Let's try that one towards like the inner corner. And as per usual, I'm gonna use kind of a foam applicator for this one. Not bad. All right, so the first metallic we used was nice, and the third was nice. The one I loved, kind of disappointing. 
All right, so let me do my cut crease on this side and we'll pick a few shades for that. There's a few that I'm really excited to try on this side, so give me one second. All right, so we're jumping in with this kind of satiny shade right here. I just put my finger in it and I started applying it, but my camera stopped, so I'm sorry. But this has crazy payoff right here. Like, look how saturated that is. It's crazy. All right, let's go in with this shade is gorgeous. Like, look at that reflect. I'm really hoping it's as gorgeous on as it, oh. It's like the shade from the new Elf Ocean Earth palette that I love. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yes, yes. Gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna pick one more and I think I'm gonna use this kind of purpley shade right here. It's like a pinky purple. And again, I'm gonna use the puff. Also good. Guys, guys. And you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick two more colors to use as a highlight because why not? I think I'm going to use these two right here because I feel like these are probably the ones I can get away with the most. So I'm going to pick kind of the whitish one to do on this side. I'm going to use my Eco Tools controlled setting brush. I'm going to use that here. Mm. It's kind of more like on the glittery side, so maybe not ideal for highlights, but let, let's put it on the inner corner. Hmm. Okay. So it's better for inner corners. And let's try the one beneath it that's more kind of pinky. Try it on the other side and see if that's more. Oh yeah, that's definitely more of a highlight kind of formula. It's more of like a satin shade. Let's put this one right here in the inner corner on this side over here, just for shits. And this is kind of a, a bronzy. Hmm. You don't see that too much, but okay. Let's, let's just get on with swatches now, because that's what's left. I'm just gonna go through the top and grab a few shades that I haven't used yet. All right, so these are a few from the first row that I didn't use today on my eyes. This shade, I know it's kind of boring, but I love. This is the one I kind of tried to use for the highlight that was a little too sparkly. All right, on to the next row. I love all of these, especially this one. This reminds me of kind of the Kat Von D Lolita shade, which I love. Onto the middle row right here. This shade is extremely pretty. Especially, even this one too, I really like. The next row. This green I was kind of excited about. It's like the deepest metallic green, but it looks like the payoff isn't gonna be that great. Kind of gives you the idea of how that middle kind of orangey reddish, reddish metallic shade, it looks like it's gonna be exciting, but once you start using it, it's kind of like disappointing. And then here are the last three shades on the bottom row. The metallic purple, the matte purple, and the matte pink. These all actually look really nice. I didn't want to use them today because I always go for like pink eye look. I figured, I mean, I, I usually do something, whatever. Call the cops. I think you guys know what I'm going to say. This is a really good palette, in my opinion. The only shades that disappointed me was, sadly, this really pretty metallic one. And this deep green, when I swatched it and saw, it didn't give that much payoff. The mattes that I used, gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. I'm so not disappointed. Even if most of the metallics weren't that good, I was honestly expecting them not to be very good, but the metallics, most of the metallics were very nice. Surprisingly, because I usually don't like their metallics, so that was a really nice surprise. This is absolutely worth $20 plus shipping. Absolutely. I mean, order one and buy an extra one for your friend. Buy an extra one as backup. This is beautiful. Highly recommend. I will definitely be using this in more videos and just for my own use. I'm so excited that I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. And that was it. Let me know if you've tried this for yourself. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. And also coming up, a really sweet subscriber and friend sent me this to try because she bought it on the recommendation of Raw Beauty Christy and was very disappointed by it. So stay tuned because I'm gonna try it for myself to see if I come across the same issues as she did or if I like it. So 
Stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.